Yes. Hey everybody, Fantron here, and today we are going to be playing Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Personally, I think the most slept on of the 3D games. I think there's only been a few, like there hasn't been that many, but this is seriously slept on. Like, this is a really good game. Ah, uh, here we go. I miss this game so much. Uh, so much so that I literally... Because I, I could never forget this game. I only played this one, and then for, like, I guess for the longest time, uh, memory card slot one. Damn, I made it that far? Okay, good. That's, that's for reference. But yeah, I, I played this game a lot growing up back in the day. Um, so much so that I didn't even think there was another one, but Lament of Innocence was another game that was in the same thing. I think it came out before this. And I need to get my hands on Lament of, Lament of Innocence as well. But for now, we are going to be playing this game. It takes place uh, pretty much right after Castlevania 3. 1476. There you go. Relation. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to prevail, out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true-blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula. A truly glorious victory for all. However, the Evil One did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity while the land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula, and the invocation of Dracula's curse. Again. <laughs> Wait, I think. What was Castlevania 3 subtitle? I think it was Dracula's Curse. I love it. It's perfect. There's more to the story than... I'll explain it once we get into the game. But there's there's still more to this as to why we're playing as different characters. We're not. Show yourself, Isaac. I know you're here. Hector, is that you? I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not. I've come to exact my revenge upon you. For the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you... Relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. And now you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula is gone, but his powers are still here in Valacia. Even you must realize. Devil forging. Indeed, with this the most forbidden of arts. A wisp of conjured matter can be transformed into a hellish devil! There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. <laughs> yes, to our lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it! Ah, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice without it. I could crush you in an instant. But that wouldn't be very satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate 
for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil forging, you cannot hope to pursue me. That is why you will reclaim your powers and thence follow where I lead you. But, in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. <laughs> Wait! Isaac! Fucking Isaac reminds me of Mean Girls. <laughs> it's that strut, that smile, and the way he did the thing with his face. Oh my god. <laughs> Claim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are. I will have my revenge. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. This music is the very reason why I keep coming back to this game. This right here is the best way to start off a game. It's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna turn down the music though. So I can hear myself t like think, and I'm gonna turn down the sound effects to be pretty much at the same level. This is just for me. You guys won't notice the difference, but I will. So anyway, for some pre for some context, Dracula's curse was for him to have basically have mankind slaughter themselves. So there's been a series of witch burnings and crazy fucking human behavior, famine. You know, you name it. it it's happened. It's a thing. And that was uh, right after Trevor Belmont killed him, you know, with the help of Sypha, uh, Grant, and Alucard. So that happened three years ago, okay? Uh, Isaac and Hector here were Dracula's generals. Obviously, we know about the betrayal, but Isaac, or Hector was just like, I don't want to fucking kill anybody anymore. You know, he was sent to go fight Trevor, but they never wind up meeting up, ever. Um, because he just he got tired of it. He killed his monsters, went away, and he was severely wounded. He was found by Rosalie, which he soon became, you know, they became wedded. And after, you know, Isaac found out about the betrayal, Dracula sent Isaac to go get him, leaving Dracula completely fucking defenseless. And that's when Trevor and them eventually made their way there conveniently to kill him. And bada bing, bada boom. You know, the events, events kind of unfold pretty much as they would say, because... Uh, Isaac convinced that the town people under Dracula's crazy ass curse, you know, because they'll believe anything, that Rosalie was uh, poisoning the apples. So they burned her at, a, at the stake. And <laughs> fucking Hector was like, nah, bro, that's Isaac. That's Isaac's doing. So, and then it fast forward to here, or the cutscene, and we're here. But that's pretty much the background for that. They don't really explain it all too much. Oh, there we go. That's the attack. Square, 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 circle. Alright. Let me go over here and grab this thing. Oh, missed it. Alright, we're not going to go save yet. Nice. So, um, pretty much, I believe, well, this is PlayStation 2, so obviously Symphony of Night was already out by then. So there's a lot of elements that we're going to see from those Metroidvania-esques. This is basically 3D Metroidvania, and, uh, this is, oh my god, I just, I, I can't stop gushing about how much I enjoy this game. Like, it's really fun. The music's amazing. Uh, the characters... They're great. Like, I'm so glad that, uh, ironically enough, this fits, like, well in the beginnings of Castlevania. I didn't read that. I really should read that. Yeah, but we got combos and shit, so, uh, and I do believe he has, they have lock-on? That's changing the camera. Uh, I forget what lock on is. Hold on. Tips. Here we go. There we go. We can always find them again. Uh, guard button, left analog stick, and jump button. Fuck. 
left analog stick. Let's guard. There you go. So R1X and uh, the um, left analog stick. Uh, I don't. I, you know, it's funny. I had this originally on Xbox uh, way back in the day. Playing this on PlayStation just feels better. If it just feels right. I can't honest. I can honestly tell you what the controls were on Xbox. I can't. I don't remember. It's been a long, long time. But that was the first. What the fuck? That was the first. Okay. All right. There we go. R2 is for lock on. I need to kill you. I need experience points. Uh, I don't think I need to kill you guys. But I do need your bronze, so... Do I need... And I do need money, eventually. But I think there's a way to even grind that, to be honest. So I might not even worry about that. So much like... Pretty much keeping in vain with everything that we've done. Uh, between Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS, as well as on this, it's the, you know, the whole Metroidvania experience. I do want to eventually get to the, uh, original style of Castlevania. Some fucking point. Like, that would be, that would be fucking swell. Am I supposed to go in here? Or is that the save room? Wait, no, this ain't the save room. I think. I think the save room symbol is different, isn't it? It is. No, this is the save room. The save room is orange. Okay, blue door, save save room. Okay, I, can't, I couldn't remember. It's been a long time. It's literally been... Oof. Uh, well, and it says I played it under the pseudonym of my name, but I, I honestly can't remember the last time I played this. So, I don't... Uh, I don't know. But I've had this for a while. Please, camera, do my bidding. Okay. Yeah, so there's only one camera button. Oh! <laughs> I killed him with the trip. But yeah, now this game... Oh my god, it's so good. Like, it, it makes me want to play Lament of Innocence even more. Like, honestly, I'm prob I think I'm going to buy it... Uh, after I finish this Let's Play. To be honest, I know it's like stupidly cheap right now. Or definitely now. It's probably like 15 bucks, maybe even less. But I definitely want to play that at some point. Considering that Lament of Innocence is actually the beginning of the entirety of uh, Castlevania's storyline. And this doesn't take place too far away from that, actually. So, I think it's like the third game in the series. If you're going by timeline. Ugh! Okay, I remembered. Ah! What are you doing? Oh, shit. Oh! No. Alright, got rid of him. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, so I guess he was the... He was the problem. And the doors actually unlock once you beat him. What the hell? There's so many enemies around. I don't understand. So, like, speedrun tactic, I guess. You can just beat him and then go about your business. What? Sealed by an unknown power. Hector cannot open it with his strength alone. Oh. Because that chest looks plastic as fuck. Uh, let me move this. Is it coming from that tombstone? <laughs> How conscientious of him. He carved the instructions into stone along with the most difficult visualization. So, that's how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Released him with the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being, appear before me now! <laughs> Immaculate being. 
Real talk. Mo these things are it's the best. Oh, hello. Oh, well, devil forging, isn't it? Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Z. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other Devil Forge Master, are you not? The one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. Oh. He made his escape through the back of the castle. Oh, what thank you. What concern is this to you? Yeah. He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. Ah, uh, that's your that's your game in this. I okay. see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Okay. So, I didn't mention this, but I love the guy who voice acts Hector. Because he's in, like, every fucking thing. Like, everything. Okay, uh, no, not Ran 2. We gotta, we gotta give him names. Um, <laughs> I wonder if people can do a nose lock of this. No, never mind. That's actually kind of brutal. Um, hmm. I'll give him. Uh, we'll do. We'll do Kenneth. Yeah, we'll do Kenneth. All right, I'll just name it after the boys. <laughs> Shoutouts to Kenneth. There you go, boy. You know, I just realized something. Whoops, because uh, I believe the later Forbes. Alex, that's all explainable later. I'm not even, that's why I skipped all of it. I already know it. You can evolve them with crystals. They level up. Uh, and then you can level up their skills, buy them new shit, etc., etc. They got the auto and the regular abilities. But because... Uh, so yeah, I don't want to summon Kenneth. He's already there. Do I want to go ahead and start fucking with this stuff? I can't. I can't yet. Wait, can I? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Not yet. And we can't open up that chest anyway. We don't have the power. Kind of. So basically, they're dropping those hearts down at the bottom, which is, I believe, health for the uh, which we call it, and then it helps them evolve too. There's your, there's your hearts. And then, uh, I forget what the heal button is. What, what's the heal? There we go, triangle. Anyway, uh, I love this voice actor. He's in pretty much, like, every anime ever, but mainly, like, if, if you grew up like how I did, Code Geass, mainly. You know, like, that's what I generally can associate with him immediately. He's been in so many video games and, and stuff like that. Um... And it's so weird because I always think, oh, hey, it's Hector from Castlevania, instead of anything else. And, uh, so yeah, I think, following tradition, we have not... Ooh, he gave me the hot dog? Yo! Um, yeah, but following the tradition of this set of five, we are not playing as a Belmont. <laughs> at all. Uh, and the Morrises adopted the whip, but that's well before Richter fucked it up, so... Oh, don't worry. Well, we will get to that eventually. And the Dark Priest Shaft. <laughs> but that's still a bit of a ways off, I think, like 300 years or so. From this... 300 years from this point? Yeah, 300 years from this point. We got a bit of a ways off. So a few games, I think. So. Get wrecked. Because I do believe after this, I think it's Simon? Simon's the next Belmont in, in line? So then it would be Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, which. It's, or just Super Castlevania, really. I think. I don't know. I want to be able to put these in order one day when I complete them all, but. 
there's not that many games in the timeline, because I've already finished, like, the DS games, and those are pretty much, like, like, Soma's Adventure, that's the end of the timeline. Like, that's it, so far. I don't think Konami's gonna renege on that anytime soon. Alright, there, there's a level up right there. What are you doing? Get... Fucking stupid... How did that not... One, two, throw their sword. Oh, wild memory. Yeah, we need those. So anyway, these enemies drop stuff that we need for making weapons and shit later. That's pretty much how I'm going to survive, mostly. I'm not going to rely too heavily on the Innocent Devils and Devil Forging. It's not too much. It's going to come in handy, but from what I remember, it took me a while to kind of grind up shit for them. So I need to rely on not getting hit. That's one, so using the, the dodge. Uh, hold on, where's my map? Here we go. Yeah, we need to get over there to the second floor. I don't understand why people even do this. It doesn't seem very fast. Then again, I saw speedrunners doing it, and it looked fast as hell, so I don't know what the fuck they were doing. It's not like we got a backdash. That's, <laughs> that's, you know... That's not a... Outside of vampire hunting exclusive. I would love to get that stanky backdash, though. So good. Alright. We're gonna be passing the save room. Do I want to go for 100% in this game? I think I should. Let me go ahead and let me get the save room. But we're not going to save yet. It's going to be a minute before we save. Because the beginning of the game is pretty much your uh, tutorial. Do I need to go back to the... I do. Hold on. Because this... I remember one time when I was playing this and I saw that that map, or that part of the map wasn't there... I was just like, what the fuck, and I had almost 100%, so I need to go back and uh, get that. And then there are secrets and stuff, too, but I think they're pretty obvious. They're just sitting there, and you can kind of tell, you can see through the wall. I mean, it's fucking PlayStation 2, you know, graphic limitations and whatnot. They can't hide much. But, I mean, if you're not looking for it, you're probably not going to find it. And given it's a 3D environment, you can miss some shit. Let me run all the way back here and go grab this real quick. Should have did that while we were uh, out here in the first fucking place. I always keep forgetting that this counts as part of the map. Even the outside part, really. Hold on, are you gonna let me? Are you actually gonna let me do it? Oh, you are. Okay. And I think this just leads to nowhere. Oh, but it still counts towards the percentage. See, look at that. There's even a fucking candle all the way back here. But I do I know it just runs to a dead end. But I'm gonna at least try and go for the hundred percent, guys. I'm gonna try. So having hundred percent in in this would be uh it'd be nice. Especially if we did it in harmony of dissonance. Well, two hundred percent. And there would be no excuse as to why I can't do it in Symphony of the Night either, especially with all the goddamn practice. And for our trouble, there's actually an item over here, too. I forgot. They do that shit on purpose. They're like, they'll never come back and get this. Why would you turn around? That's just silly. That's because it is. Like, But we get a, get a pretty good item for it. There we go. And that should cover up... Yeah, that covers up all that. 25% of the abandoned castle is done. I forget how many levels there are in this game, but... You essentially, it's sort of like Order of Ecclesia, where there's multiple areas and each of them have their own specific 100% of them being done, or a Portrait of Ruin, you know. But as you can see, we're obviously not in Dracula's castle, because his ass is dead, so we're, we're only pursuing Isaac. I need to figure out how the hell they do that so fucking fast. I don't know how they do it that fucking fast. Like, they do it stupidly fast. 
Unless they're canceling animations of some sort. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. I might speed up some shit. If I'm just cartwheeling all over the fucking place, that would be nice. So now we gotta go all the way back over here. Oh god, this game's so good. And I wanted to cosplay this for a long time. Like just the outfit. It's fucking sick. And it's funny because I was like, he's my favorite Belmont. And he's not. He's not even a Belmont. I used to say that when I was younger. I was like, this Belmont is awesome. He doesn't even need a fucking whip. <laughs> but he's not a Belmont, like, at all. Oh, hello. Ugh. Jesus. Wait. No, it's not here. It's not here that I'm thinking of. I'll look another potion for our troubles. Nothing still? I'm gonna find these goddamn secrets, I swear. Oh, what the fuck? What did I do wrong now? I even walked up to the damn chest. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb as hell. I am dumb as hell. Okay, so then I will be right back, I guess. I'm stupid. I walk right past the thing. It's, it's in the chest, and I have to go get it. So I'll see you guys when I'm unlocking the chest. Okay, let's open this thing. Open it. Give me the damn crest. Okay, now I'm running back. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're back. Let's actually go through the door like a not simpleton. I cannot believe I didn't. I forgot. I was like, I know I can open up the chest after I get one of them. I, I thought I had to come back for it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, here we go. Okay, come on. Alright, there we go. We got the bestiary. Are y'all gonna make- oh, y'all actually are gonna have me fight him. Okay. Okie dokie. Anything behind here? Okay. I didn't think so. Oh, boy. Yeah, without those combos, man, some of these fights are going to be long. <laughs> going to be long as hell. Oh, love the environment. Like, I don't care if it's a PS2 game. Like, this looks, this shit looks amazing. funny because I'm, I'm like I'm trying to remember where all this stuff is uh, it's a save room we don't need 